Hey fam, welcome back. Apparently it's been a couple of weeks and I have no concept of time, so I thought I was still on time. So here we are, how's it going? Hi. <laughs> gonna go ahead and start off with the book that now I can't even remember if I gave it a two or a three probably a two it's your typical gothic horror fiction from the 70s um, nothing special that really stands out but you, if you're into that shit cool and then the other book I want to talk about I really freaking enjoyed so a little bit of a balance going on this time so book number one is called The Devil's Own by Janet Louise Roberts I began reading this a while back you may remember and was just like eh. I finished it <laughs> I had like 66 pages left, so Bookly was harassing me. He was like, you know, and I was like, I know, I know. I'm going to dismiss you like I did every other time. Because I just, I feel like I spent half the book. Okay, listen, if you are really into gothic horror enough that you don't care if the writing's bad, you just can't help it, you're going to read it, this is going to be very spoilerific because I'm not recommending it. Well, let me take one for the team on this one. There's a lot of repetition. Writing's just bad. Is this bad? There's your TLDR, okay? <laughs> if you're into this shit, I got chapters for you. Otherwise, let me let me just let me just take you on my journey with me. <laughs> you start off like I think I mentioned before that I was very concerned that we have like this character Matthew, right? Where all the descriptors are brown. And I was like is the brown man going to end up being Satan? Let's go ahead and refresh our memories on the synapses. When Isabel was first initiated into the secrets of the weird parties her aunt Camilla gave for her strange circle of friends, she was frightened to the very marrow of her bones. Even Matthew, her college boyfriend, couldn't comfort her. Am I already ready to start coughing because I'm talking out loud? What the fuck? And when they took her out to the heath, the heath, the heath, what? when they took her out to the heath, right? It's a name either way, right? Whatever. To be ravished by someone she could only vaguely recall in the morning, or was it a dream? She shook with enormous fear, enormous. Who wrote this for you, Janet? Then when she discovered those mysterious marks on her body and saw the glitter in Matthew's eyes, she realized the truth, the truth she was born to discover. So yeah, I was maybe a quarter of the way through the book when it was like, Matthew Satan, he's totally Satan. Oh, mm -hmm. no, he's totally Satan. Then I was halfway through the book where I was like, oh, he's not brown, he's tan. He's just hella tan. I feel clickbaited. But yeah, Matthew Satan, he's totally for. You knew he was Satan from page one. Like I said, there's a lot of repetition, a lot of like, you've read this story before. Girl goes off to college by the, like with help from this chicky mama who, it's kind of like a benefactor, but like, why? What do you give a fuck? You know, but you know, thanks. And then, oh God, no. Cause it's really <gasps> her mother. Oh my God, what, what, who's my father? I don't know, Satan. She was drugged, she was drugged a lot. Like a lot, like every night. Like you, she couldn't eat or drink anything in that household cause she, she was drugged. Pretty sure this came out in 1970, right? January, 1972 is the first Avon printing. Like just let me take one for the team fam, it's okay. And even I'm, you. You know I like my gothic ship. This just, just, just don't, don't bother. Let me, let me just, I, it's done. It's over with. We're moving on with our lives now. The other book I want to talk about, I got around to reading book two in the Bloody Mary saga and I fucking loved it. Okay, listen, I forgot that this shit takes off running like from the first freaking page. Book two is just the same. Book one is Mary the Summoning and book two is Mary Unleashed. So yeah, just sit on that for a moment and see what you think that means. If you know about the Bloody Mary uh, urban legend or whatever the heck, um, she's kind of tied to the mirror, isn't she? It's kind of like when they make Jason run, like he can run now. 
Fuck. Okay, now I'm scared. Now <laughs> fuck that guy. Nope, 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 nope. The cops are on yeah. the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> no, c'est toi, c'est toi, c'est toi, c'est toi, c'est toi, c'est toi. You got this, no. you got this. C'est toi. Voulez-vous à c'est quoi? Voulez-vous à c'est quoi? Run, run, run. I was actually really freaking scared playing that game because I was like, I'm the last person alive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Since it is book two, I don't want to get too into it, but pretty much every compliment that I had for book one just continue on with book two. It's a great con great continuity. That's the word I was looking for. And all of that groovy shit, like seriously. I still highly recommend this saga. It was so good. Like, Hillary does not fuck around with this shit. She's like, what, you think I'm gonna give you a moment to think? And you just go, man, you just go. And there's a scene with quicksand. I love the scene with quicksand, just because it's funny. Just, I mean, it's unfortunate to see what, you know, people might do. This is fiction. It's fiction. Growing up in the 80s had me terrified. <laughs> One of those like that really fucked with my immersion moments. Like the main character chick like walks, she goes to this party because her and this other girl are just trying to freaking chill out for two seconds, right? Like they have a moment, they actually can. Let's just go and chill. And like she goes to this back room. I can't even remember how the fuck she got back there because I spent the whole scene like, are there any reflective surfaces? Like what, what the fuck is Jess doing right now? Like I'm just very hyper aware of where the fuck is Jess and what the fuck is Jess doing? I don't trust that bitch. And in the middle of it is freaking her noticing this fertility statue sitting in the middle of the room. And I was like, how does this high school bitch know that that's a fertility statue? Is she an art student? Did I forget that note in the first book? I don't think she was. How the fuck? Unless like it's pointed out. Did you know that this is a the fuck? That's like telling me when I was 16 years old, you know, you're not going to be able to eat chocolate ice cream for breakfast for the rest of your life. How does that change right now? <laughs> It was fine, but not anymore. They were right. But it's whatever, because you would recognize a fertility statue. I don't know. It just, it's nothing against the writing. There's nothing against the story or anything. It's just one of those moments when your brain goes, wait. Well, now I want to know what one. This main character does like really freaking give herself a hard time. And it's like, you know. No. What? I made a note. To Hillary specifically that I feel so manipulated and then okay but it's fine I suppose what when you don't understand your own notes this is a theme in my life I will say that um, the sass in some of these letters that you get to read just it ends however <sighs> it's not so much the ending as extras tossed onto the ending so you don't need it's not really a spoiler to say is god damn that thing wouldn't end it just kept going i was like oh my god oh my god this bitch apparently loved the sound of her own voice <sighs> i wasn't even halfway done with that letter and i was already done with that bitch like just shut up i get it i get it i understand okay no so if there was any complaint that i would have for the Bloody Mary saga, it was like, oh my god, that ending letter, though. Oh my god, I'm almost done with this shit. And this bitch just keeps going. She, oh, she just, you're not done yet? Fuck off. Your time is over. Get out of here. Jesus Christ, I'm moving on to the next book. Which was men explain things to me. <laughs> the next video, uh isn't quite gonna be a ghostly story time as much as we're gonna go over some shit. We're gonna go over some shit and have a little bit of fun. And that is gonna be a connection from Hillary Monaghan because I follow Hillary on Twitter and there was something that she brought to our attention recently that took me down a rabbit hole.
And after binging all of that shit, I want to talk about it. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Maybe it helped me to completely lose track of time these past couple of weeks. I really thought I was still on track. <laughs> and you realize it fits so much time. I was like, what? How is it already the week of fucking Halloween? Shit. I've been waiting for this month all goddamn year. <laughs> Until next time, fan. And beyond. Please take care. And I will try as well to not get so distracted again, oh my god.